close the doors, walk across the corridor. We got something to show you. Media is our repertoire. Hey everyone, what's going on? It's time for another Be More Er Unboxed. As you know, we've been doing a couple of things with unboxings and I'm going to continue. Remember, we had talked about the advent calendar and one way to do an unboxing was to open an advent calendar, especially during the holiday season. And that's a way of unboxing that is fun because you actually are doing it with your audience. So the same time you find out what something is, so do they, right? So unboxings of those types are fun. So let's talk about another type of unboxing. So I guess technically this is not an unboxing, but it is what it is. We're going to go with that. This is more of a review. So if you are wondering what types of content you can do for 2024 and you're stuck as to what can I do for video content? Yes, unboxings, but in addition to an an actual unboxing, think about doing reviews, especially if it's something connected with what you already do. Or it doesn't have to be. I am not a beauty influencer, nor do I do hair thing, but <laughs> I made that into content because I'm trying to teach you all. You see what I did there? Let's talk a little bit about uh, hair. I already said I'm not a beauty influencer, but we kind of went down that path when I unboxed the first day of the advent calendar and there was that conditioner. So I said, let's continue with this because I did get something in new for hair. So let's go back a little bit. When it comes time to do hair on wash day, part of it is always detangling. It's not the most pleasant part of the job, but it is something that needs to happen. And so here we go. This is what I normally use to detangle. This is like a dupe for the Denman brush. I got it from Sally Beauty Supply. It is what it is to me. It works the same because Denman was kind of expensive to me. So I said, this works the same. And so as you can see, it's got a... Uh, rows of bristles. I guess this is eight rows if I'm looking at it really quickly. And you can take um, out some of the rows if you want. Now these roll, these uh, bristles are fairly, they're not super stiff. They have a little bit of flexibility to them. The bed of the brush has some flexibility, but it's not super flexi flexible. It's more stiff. And this is what I thought I really needed, something that was a little more stiff because I've used softer brushes in the past and it just laughed at my hair. So I've been seeing the unbrush for a while. So I said, you know what? I'm going to order it. Now, I was um, really fixing my mouth to say that it does not work. I was, I was like, oh. so first of all, I, I did like this and I was like, Oh no, you're too, way too soft. And then the construction to me felt a little paddle-like, a little, shall we say, badminton, what is it, racket? Like it, it, it felt like that. And so I was like, okay, this is about to be a disaster. Something said, you know what? Let me try just take a little piece of chunk of hair and brush through it. I, and it went through. I said, okay, but that was small. So I took more, <laughs> it went through. Mind you, I had not finger detangled or anything before this. I did my entire head without pre-detangling with this. Needless to say, I am pleasantly surprised. Folks, I am pleasantly surprised with this. So it's called the unbrush, if you can see, and it is... I think that's patent pending and you can see it is like vented. So there's nothing on the back. It's a whole bunch of vents and they have bristles that are kind of, it's not in rows like the Denman, as you can see, it's different from the Denman. This has uh, interspersed bristles. So because I had had like a paddle brush similar to this, I'm like, oh, this is going to be nonsense. But this actually goes through my hair without pre-detangling. And mind you, I am straight continental African. So there's no other cultures in the hair that kind of give it. No, I am continental African. <laughs> this went through. This went through. So am I recommending this? Yeah. If you're the type of person that has tangles that are very hard to manipulate, 
Yes. If you have a child who is very tender head, I mean, I swear, and I'm not tender headed, but I swear you could, I could barely feel the brush going through and it was going through. That doesn't mean go crazy, go gently, but this, this definitely worked. And there are so few things sometimes that work for, for my hair as is that it was pleasantly, it was a pleasant surprise to see this. And I noticed that there was less hair that was coming out as I was brushing, because obviously this is hard. This is not only taking out the hair that is falling, you know, that the normal hair that you lose, untangling it from your other hair, but this also kind of like rips some other hair if you're not careful, if you're in a rush. This, I did not get that with. Now, let please let me preface this. Well, it's not a preface anymore. It's an after <laughs> afterthought, but I am not sponsored by them at all. I, okay, it's upside down. I am not sponsored by them at all. I, if there's something that I really like, I will sing the praises of it because maybe it will help somebody else. And this was content in terms of a unboxing or a review. So do I recommend this? Yes. So let's talk about reviews for a moment. Definitely. You want to give the features of this. Remember I talked about the bristles being interspersed, that it was vented in the back, uh, more thing the, the handle is pretty, it's not very long, but for me, it's good. It's a good grip. It's got this, uh, is this a hexagon? It is. It's got a hexagon center that you could probably hang up someplace in a closet or what, so that it's not taking up room. So, and it's very lightweight. It is not heavy. So these are, and it comes in a bunch of different colors. It's, it's, they've got a yellow, they've got a red, they've got a uh, pink and green. They've got a whole bunch of different colors, but I went with this cause I liked this kind of Royal electric blue. So you have a choice of different colors. Now, this same company also makes heat tools like blow dryers, um, curlers, et cetera. So you could, there are a bunch of different things. I've never tried them. This is the only thing I've ever tried from this company. And I like, I, I have to say, I like this. And you all know that I'm usually hashtag side eye at things especially when it comes to <laughs> textured ethnic hair, I'm side eye, but this actually really works well. Now, um, what are some of the downfalls of it? And you should also talk about that when you do a review as well. Some of the things that you like, give the features, some of the things that you like, but then also give the cons. And that doesn't mean that you have to be mean and tear down, but tell the truth. So the... <sighs> Very little I don't like about this. And I like that it's lightweight, but I feel like this plastic could be sturdier. If you can, if you can hear it's, maybe you can't hear, but to me, I feel like they could have used a sturdier plastic. Like the plastic on this one is way sturdier and this cost much less than this one did. I mean, you can also say you get what you pay for, but whatever with the, I would have preferred that the plastic be more like this than the light, the, this lightweight plastic, it would make it feel a little more substantial. Although when you are detangling, you probably want something as light as possible so that you don't, um, it doesn't feel heavy and you get tired after a while. So I can understand, but it felt to me for the price, it should be a little more substantial. I ended up and get ready. You know, I don't like to pay for a lot of things, but I ended up paying, I believe I paid $18 for this and that's the going price for these. They're between 18 and $20. So I, it, it took all my might before I actually really ordered it, but I'm very glad I did. So that's another thing. The price point for a brush, $20 is, is, is kind of pricey. So this thing better last. Another reason why I thought the plastic should be a little more substantial because for $20, this should not be feeling more substantial than this. This was like a $6.99 brush. This should not feel, this should not feel more substantial than this. So the other thing is also it, it, I did like that. It came rather quickly. As soon as I ordered it, they got it out. It was coming from California. So it took a couple of days, but they got right to it and sent it out to me. Now here's the, the thing that I did not like, and this is more of a presentation and customer service thing. So one of the things with unboxings, as we know, is that you, you like packaging you whether it is um whatever kind of packaging the packaging you like now the box that it came in or whatever was fine 
But my thing is if I'm spending $20 on something that probably did not cost $20 to make, I need to see a thank you card. I need to see some little samples of hair, something. Okay. For $20 is more than plus shipping is more than enough that you should have had that customer service first feel as somebody myself, that is a reseller, somebody that is in, you know, that does fashion because I'm a reseller. Um, whenever I send out something and somebody has ordered it, nothing goes out without a thank you card, without a ribbon. In fact, I get comments that it feels like they were opening a gift. This felt like you just dumped it in a box and came to not even a thank you card. So I'm not even asking you to do what I do because I know what I do is top tier when it comes to packaging and making sure that the customers are satisfied. But if you're not going to pretty, and it was around the holiday time, even if you don't do that all the time, couldn't you have something, a gift, you just put it in a box. So that to me, if we're ranking that, um, that's a two for you. The brush itself is a, a, a 10 out of 10. I really like it, but well, let me give it nine out of 10 because nine for functionality, but construction, it feels like it should be more substantial. And also the fact that when I order something that costs this much for something like this, I expect to see samples. I expect to see pretty gift wrap. I expect at the very least a thank you card and none of that was in there. Does it seem like I'm complaining? You bet I'm complaining. <laughs> so Unbrush, um, the company, I, I'll put in the, the what the company, the name of the company, but they make the Unbrush, uh, I think it's FHI Heat, if I'm not mistaken. So FHI Heat, I need you to do better when it comes to the packaging end of it. If customers are spending this much, especially something like this, plus shipping, there at the very least should be some sort of samples and a, a, a thank you card. Thank you for ordering our product. We appreciate. So, you know, when you, you sign up for, um, what is it? You sign up for emails and things like that, which I did. Cause it's like when you sign up for uh, these email lists, often they offer some percentage off. So I'm like, if I wanted to order something again, you do that. So I get all sorts of emails, but no, thank you card. Mm -mm. So let's do better. Get some thank you cards, print it. Even if you have to print it on printer paper and you fold it up and put it inside, that at least shows that you appreciate. So show appreciation for your customers. Do better. But this is bomb. This is really, really good. All right. So let's kind of review. Definitely when you, what type of content that you can do is not so much an unboxing per se, but a review of an unboxing. So it's already been unboxed and now I'm doing the review of it. Make sure you talk about the features, excuse me, of whatever product or service it is. Talk about, uh, the pros, talk about the cons, you know, whether you liked it or you didn't like it, but you do not have to be mean about it. You could be matter of fact, you could tell the truth. Um, and then the last thing, it's really up to you. If you're the type of person that's like, well, I'm not going to do reviews unless they're sponsoring. And I totally get that when you're doing all of this, this is free advertising for them either for the good or the bad, but it's free advertising for them. And, um, it, it really costs them nothing if you do that. So you can decide, well, that's not what I want to do. But if you are new to the content creation game and you're looking to start to get brand partnerships and sponsorships and product, you know, get sponsored product or money, you may want to start with what you have and doing the review and then tagging the company because that could lead to something that is a brand partnership or brand sponsorship. That's just at the very least, but you could, you also don't have to do this at all. So it is up to you to decide whether or not you want to shout out a brand without having a deal with them. Sometimes it could lead to something else. Sometimes it doesn't. So I, you know, it's up to you to decide whether or not you want to do that. All right. Now, well, this was rather long. This was rather long, but I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you are going to try the unbrush. This works for all kinds of hair, right? So I, I'm just the standard for hair that 
tangles. <laughs> so this this would I am really the one that you would look at in terms of you you all see my hair out. And by the way, it's not out today because I washed it today with this. If you want to see Sealy, I urge you to go and see the color purple because that's what I look like underneath here. And no. So <laughs> in any case, I hope that this was helpful and I hope that this encourages you to be more er with your videos and live streams. Until next time. Cheers. Settling our knowledge and conversations, don't make